Hello and welcome. Today we're going to walk through the new Customer Service Admin Center. Microsoft recently released this, and the idea behind the Customer Service Admin Center is to consolidate the administrative functionalities that were previously existing in multiple spots for the customer service experience within Microsoft. Now I am going to jump into operations here. So operations, this gets into more of how are we managing things from a day-to-day -day standpoint. So this starts off with insights. Customer service insights is now something that there is some availability to all users with a customer service enterprise license. So you have the ability to turn on or off historical analytics for just customer service, for omni-channel, and then there's also this suggestions for agents, which would be things like, hey, maybe suggest this knowledge base article based on the content of this case. Calendars are going to be important within your customer service environment. You can set operating hours. This is going to be really great if you need to manage many different users and maybe you have some necessity to understand who's taking time off when. So if you need to make changes to who's scheduled, this calendar functionality will allow you to see operating hours and allow you to see a holiday. And then you can track individual work hours as well for your individual team members. Your service terms, we heard the word SLA. So our service level agreements, this is, do we make a promise to respond to a case within 24 hours? Do we make a promise to resolve any issues within 48 hours? SLAs are what we can set up to help track our progress towards those commitments to our customers. And then this term entitlement, an entitlement in the system either allows you to give a customer X amount of hours of case support for free, or X amount of cases for free. If the environment is tied in with field service, you can also use entitlements to provide discounted services to folks. So for example, you might have an entitlement that they get 50% off of any troubleshooting labor, for example. Entitlements could be used for that. And then down below, service scheduling. So this ties into the scheduling functionality that exists from universal resource scheduling. What this is meant to do is you can coordinate service activities for your customers. So this is a step before needing to go full field service where you do need to indicate that so-and-so is working with customer A at this time, but I don't need to have a work order. I don't need, I'm going to say the full mobile application for that resource to do that work. More or less, I'm just planning and coordinating that that work's going to happen with nothing else attached. So it's a little bit of a precursor to getting into field service. Ultimately, if your environment is connected with field services, the service scheduling visuals that you would see are the exact visuals that you would see within the field service schedule board, maybe with some different filters applied.